Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're back here on the Amazon Fire Stick. I'm gonna go ahead and show you three steps that you can take to get better experience from your Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and dive into those three tips. The first tip to fix buffering, slowness, or anything, etc., going on strange with your Amazon Fire TV. So I opened the app that I use to clear buffering on my Amazon Fire TV or slowness. So this is the app that I use. I can come in here and I can close all of my apps that's basically what this app does it identifies how many apps you have running in the background in my case i have 21 apps running in the background and the fastest way to do that is to use this button called close all apps it's at the very top you click on close all apps it takes you to the settings screen for each individual app so you will have to manually close each one but it's very simple let me show you so you go down you click for stop you click the back button you go down, click for stop, and click the back button. You want to do this for each app. And basically what this is going to do is going to free up all of those resources being taken up by those 21 apps running in the background. So now with all of these apps closed, now you can dedicate all of those resources from the Amazon Fire TV that were being used, but now it's available. You can use that on that one app that you want to have a better experience on. Once you have closed all of your apps, now you will see this screen where it says no apps open. That means you won't see any of the thumbnails of the icons that were open before because they're now all closed. If you're still having issues, what you want to do is go to step two. So step two, we want to make our way to the magnifying glass. Come down here to the search button. You want to type in this word speed. You want to type in S-P-E-E-D. Once you type in speed, you want to look at the second search result, which is speed test. Click on speed test. You're looking for this app called speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. Click on it and let's open it up. And it immediately starts running the download speed that you have on your Fire TV. So you can see down below as it's calculating my download speed, you can see a visual at the bottom with check marks and it gives you the Wi-Fi strength, the Wi-Fi quality and the internet speed to see if your connection speed is good enough to run the following 1080p videos, 4K videos, 4K gaming, and even 8K definition videos. So that's definitely interesting. It says I have 139 megabits per second. That's, it's not at the top of the scale, but it's also not at the bottom of the scale. The bottom of the barrel of the scale is 25 megabits per second. That's what you can have to stream 1080p quality, which is the 1080p section. So if you have something around 25 and 75, that would be like the, the small mid range of internet speeds. So I would definitely recommend something above 100 megabits per second. And if you have anything over 500 megabits per second or a thousand, like you're blazing speed at that point. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about your internet speed, but it's always good to do a thorough check on your device to see what internet speed you're getting. That way you can rule out your internet connection altogether being the issue. But once you've confirmed that you have great speeds, you've confirmed that you've closed all your apps out and you're still experiencing issues. So if you went through step one, you've went through step two, step three, and you're still having issues, you're still experiencing buffering, slowness, and all of the above, you wanna restart your device. If you haven't restarted your device, just to rule that option out. But the main third step would be to analyze the hardware that you have, make sure it's at least within the last three years. So we're in 2024, 2023 just passed and 2022. So as at the moment we know technology accelerates at a much faster rate than anything else. So you wanna make sure that your device hardware is up to date on the current specs of what it needs to be, which will be at least two gigs of RAM, a quad core processor and at least 16 to 32 gigabits of storage space so those are the things that we're looking for when it comes to maintained quality experience on the amazon fire tv so you want to keep those three in mind i'll link the description down below for any fire tv devices if you wanted to compare prices or the specs of those devices you can find that below so once again i did want to go over these apps the first app was called background apps and processing list all we have to do is come over to the magnifying glass come down to the search button click on search and you want to just type in bac once you type in bac you want to go down here to the third search result and click on background apps and processing list. Click on that option. You want to click on background apps and processing lists. It'll take you to the download button with the download screen. 
click on the download button if you don't already have this installed. If you do, it's very simple. You just open it up and then go ahead and start closing out your apps one by one. Also, for the speed test app, come over to the magnifying glass, come down to the search button, type in S-P-E-E-D, and you want to come down to the second search result, which is speed test. Click on speed test. You'll find that second search result down here under apps and games called speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. You want to give that a moment to install and you can open that app up right away and begin your speed tests. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down in the comment section below if it was. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.